We made it. We're in the middle of nowhere. Would you call this the middle of nowhere, Alabama? Yep. I mean, they call it Coleman. Coleman. Not Coleman. Coleman. As in, one who culls or chooses. For instance, you might want to cull yourself up a trailer here at Coleman Liquidation Center. Lots of trailers, but this trailer, I think, is the office. Is this your first time in hey Alabama? Not Alabama, but first time in Coleman. Hey, I'm Link. Hi. Nice to Nancy? meet you. Yes. We quickly learned that Nancy holds down the fort here, and we met Star, Nancy's son's girlfriend, who shows the trailers to potential buyers, and Matt, who moves trailers. But the president and CEO, Robert Lee, wasn't there. As we waited for him to show up, we figured we'd snoop around his office. Which doubled as a mausoleum for unlucky critters who had crossed paths with Robert. So he shot this in the parking lot. Yeah. With the sunglasses and the hat. No. <laughs> Nancy suggested we take a look at some trailers. That seemed like a good idea. So you refurbish them too? Basically, I mean, it's move-in ready. You don't have to decorate. Um, the colors are good and neutral, yes. you know. I mean, it's already designed just for you. I could tell just in a short time that you've got some decorating sense. So, I mean, how, do you, how does one acquire that? Do you go to school for that? I did. I didn't graduate. You sell these. <laughs> You don't call them trailers, you call them mobile homes. That's right. I call it a home. I don't even use mobile home. Home? Yeah. Home. Yeah. House. You yeah. can even say house. I mean, it is. It's shelter, you know. Shelter. You could say shelter. Looks like somebody might have been killed in that room. And just when we'd learned everything we ever needed to know about trailers, Robert showed up. Hey, Robert. How, How you doing? doing? I'm Brett. Y'all the movie people? Yeah, yeah that's us. Doing? I'm Link. How you doing, Link? Without much prompting, Robert began to tell us what he thinks. If a person pisses me off that comes up here, and I can tell they're gonna be a whiner and they're ignorant, I'm gonna sell my house. They can't believe that you won't actually sell my house. If it's somebody I think that's not very intelligent, I won't sell my house, I'll send them on their way. Then Robert began to tell us about his experiences. Like when his wife's boyfriend hit him in the back of the head with a fence post. I knew he hit me with something, I had my back to him. This is after we already was already had our fight and I let him up off the ground. And about 15 minutes later, I had my back to him and I was cussing his friend out and that's the last thing I remembered. He hit me right across the back of my neck and knocked me out. And when I was knocked unconscious, he tried to uh, crush my face in with that. Or like when a bouncer in Birmingham hit him in the face with a crescent wrench. And we're gonna go to some little uh, nightclub Nancy knows about. It's supposed to be a nice little quaint place. Before the night's over with, I got hit with a crescent wrench about four times in the head. I got hit me right across here, cut my eyelid. Split my head open, so I ain't been back to that bar. <laughs> well, Robert kept talking, and we left, and started eating. Alabama white barbecue sauce. And it was time to start thinking about what our commercial was going to be. All right, it's morning time. Uh, the guys are um, backing up some truck back there, I think. Basically, they're getting ready to move a trailer. We've developed an angle which we haven't told Robert about yet, but we think he's gonna be hip to it. The real story here is not the buying and selling and moving of trailers, really, it's Robert. A commercial about him, his bravado, his take no prisoners attitude. Attitude. And then, and then when I land on you like that, you're gonna say uh, that first line, which is, hi, I'm Robert, Robert Lee. Lee. I own Coleman Liquidation Center. Gotcha. We wanted to make trailer moving as epic as possible, which basically meant getting lots of shots of Robert walking and pointing, because walking and pointing is epic. something like this in here it's not like you just back it in into the lot and then presto you got a trailer in place I mean it was deforestation was taking place in order to get the trailer in place and you were like jumping in there with your camera like you got to be in the moment you know a bouncer in Birmingham hit me in the face with a crescent man, five times so if you don't buy a trailer from me it's not gonna hurt my feet well let's get one more to or choose from or something because of the crescent wrench because of the 
if we do that one, then something, how would you say something about the fence post? My ex-wife's boyfriend broke my jaw with a fence post. It was my wife then. And my wife's boyfriend broke my jaw with a fence post. And a little bit more volume one more time. And my wife's boyfriend broke my jaw with a fence post. <laughs> <laughs> no expression. I show people these trailers. If they like them, cool. If not, whatever. I've been in this business for 20 years. I'm thinking about getting out of it. So come on down to Coleman Liquidation and get a home. Or don't. I don't care. Boom, right there, you walk. It's just like, this commercial is over. It's officially <laughs> over. <laughs> I love local commercials. If it goes well, you're gonna let us do a sequel, right? Yeah. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs>